But with all that water getting pumped into the bay, many are really concerned about the impact on the environment. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull filed this report earlier today on what researchers are hoping to learn. They're not wasting any time getting out on the water. In fact, scientists spent the day on this research vessel collecting samples. The boat was used after the Deepwater Horizon spill and now is put to use in the wake of Piney Point. While water pumps into Port Manatee. It's a huge team effort. Researchers are keeping a close eye on a treasured piece of Florida, Tampa Bay. There is a lot to be learned about science from this. Um, and, you know, we know that some of this is not going to be good, and um, but we don't know the extent. The Florida Institute of Oceanography deploying this research vessel with a team of USF scientists on board to study Piney Point's potential impact. They spent the day collecting samples to analyze, looking at things like the water chemistry, wildlife and sediments. USF capturing these moments of their work. We also collected samples that uh, for an analysis of phytoplankton, various microbial communities um, and some um, tracers of contaminants that might be in that discharge water. Out on the water. We didn't see any, any major fish kills um, and no indication that there was, you know, a, a, a recognizable discoloration of the water, you know, other than right perhaps around the Port Manatee area. So uh, again, that's why you take those samples, right? Because uh, a lot of the story is actually in the chemistry and the dissolved components. So far, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection says about 173 million gallons has discharged to the port. The agency says samples near the discharge point show elevated levels of phosphorus. Now, it says two companies are tasked with starting treatments to reduce nutrients from the water before it's discharged, but hasn't shared any more details. The water is a concern for many families in the area, now returning thanks to a lifted evacuation order. We don't want to stay here when the water coming over. It was scary. It was scary. Yeah, yep, it was. Yeah. yeah. We didn't know what to do. Yeah. But we left. The research vessel is back now, too, but its work is just getting started. We've also learned the county has now given the OK to use a deep injection well south of the Piney Point site. The county says commissioners will dictate the water quality before it goes into the well. Reporting in St. Petersburg, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.